The Journey to World Class Organization. Phase one, the basic, the organization move from crisis to crisis. It has no focus, conflicting priority, no management support. Phase two, the organization become to follow standard and make integrated systems crisis management, management focus. Phase three, excellence organization. The organization begin to compliance, behavior change, problem fix it at root causes and follow benchmarking approach. Phase four, world class organization. The organization Concentrate on its process, customer focused organization, enabling technology. What is benchmark? Benchmark equal target. Benchmarking means learning how to learn from the best practice, our best in class organization. What is benchmarking? Operationally, a continuous learning process for understanding and measuring our own operation, comparing them with other organizations which are recognized as having superior practices and implementing plans to adapt and change our operations to meet and exceed these practices. Benchmarking is knowing your position, operation, knowing the industry leaders or competitors, incorporating the best practices, gaining superiority. Benchmarking makes us know us and them better. What is best practice? A relative term indicating outstanding business practices which have been identified as a contributing to improve performance significantly in leading companies. These are the methods or work processes that produce outputs which best met customer requirement or expectations. History of benchmarking began in 1979 and 18th. Significant growth in recent times, much more than intercompany numerical comparisons. Numerous success stories. Xerox in overcoming their cost challenge. Toyota in developing the Lexus and its after sales service. 80% of Americans, 500 largest corporate, follow this strategy. Type of benchmarking. Comparison make between internal and best in firm competitive compare between our and best in industry world class compare between us and best in world form performance benchmarking process benchmarking and the strategic benchmarking Performance benchmarking. Analysis of relative business performance among competitors. Comparison is internal or industry. In pricing, quality, technical features, performance characteristics, resource commitment, low. Example, we compare 
employee satisfaction rate. If the best practice organization, its employee satisfaction rate equal 90%. We compare our employee satisfaction rate with this target. Customer retention rate. Materials utilization. Training hours per worker per year. Response time to project nomination. This is target for us. We can compare our performance with this target. Process benchmarking, analysis of most effective practice on key work processes. Comparison is usually world class in distribution channel, order entry, and how to meet this order. Resource commitment here is high, usually conducted by team from process area. Strategic benchmarking, analysis of alternative competitive strategies. Comparison is world class. Resource commitment is moderate. Xerox benefit of benchmarking. Its challenges to return to business as usual. Builds effective teamwork. Increase awareness of our cost and performance compared to competition. Is a logical and proven method for developing winning strategies. Area of Xerox benchmark. Performance. Validate its objectives measures, product service, product plan, development, process, business process improvement, identifying which variables to measure. This is very, very important. We must concentrate about the key performance variables in cost or quality effectiveness or process procedures. For cost, we can measure per the cost per customer, per unit, per dollar of turnover. Quality effectiveness, we can measure service level, customer satisfaction, reliability, cycle time, in process procedures, organization structure, work systems, corporate culture, hiring, training, and so on. Phases of benchmarking. First, we must put plan. Benchmark what, do, who, what is best to, com to compare with them. Check how do they do it. Act how do we do it. Now we begin to, to pass through these phases. Phases of benchmarking. First, plan. Prepare to benchmark. Get top management support. This is very, very important issue. Form the team, assign benchmarking sponsor, decide what to be benchmark, understand your own process first, identify potential benchmark partners, determine performance measures. Choosing the benchmarking topic, Impact on customer satisfaction, impact on decision making, impact of solving the problem, 
impact on plans and strategies. Activate for benchmarking. Quality management process. News observations about competitors or best-in-class organization. We must determine what this will cost us and making cost control, evaluation of customer satisfaction. Sponsor rule. Provide visibility and the credibility. Process owner prepares quality control for benchmarking, removes barriers, works with legal advices, explains what can be shared with partners. Team selection criteria. Team selection represent required expertise and the affected area. Time, sense of importance, be available and involved. Knowledge, understand the strategic quality planning goals. Innovation, be creative and flexible. Communication skills, include researchers and financial analysts. Do. Discover the facts. Select potential partners. Decide that how the data will be collected. Collect the information. Analyze the results. Planning the site visit to the organization which you decided to compare your performance with it. Determine what data is needed. Design the set of questions to ask the benchmarking partner. Decide how and when to conduct the visit. Benchmarking strategy for data collection. There is secondary research, screening, survey, questionnaire, site visit. To answer these questions, who is out there, who is good, who is best, what do they do, how did they make it work? Guidelines for the on-site visit. Review your internal operation first. Know exactly the information you want to, to gather. Structure the questions to continue from the general to specific. Determine the information about your own organization that you would be willing to share with target organizations. Identify the appropriate targets. Identify which member of the benchmarking team will be responsible for each target area. Document your visit. Check. Analyze performance gaps. Compare current performance to data collected to identify performance gaps, identify best practice, develop own practice from best of class. Act. Implement best practices, communicate results, establish functional goals, develop plan to implement best practice, implement plan and monitor progress, communicate progress, celebrate. Readjust benchmarks, identify new opportunities. This figure represents how the organization moved from quality to excellence. Organization vision, goals, and the strategy. We must compare this and making benchmarking with best in class 
and determine process, our process capability and develop our mission and, deter and determine critical success factors and the key performance indicators. So the organization must determine the core processes that will be developed by making process analysis using measurement or indicators as a ISO, as ISO, and from process analysis define opportunity for improvement through self-assessment and gap analysis. The organization put plan to, de to uh, people development through education, training, and so on. And the decided process priorities through visualize ideal process and the continuous improvement. We can use also business process redesign and put measurement of progress to check. After check, we can make feedback about our progress. Now we discuss common benchmarking mistakes, confusing benchmarking with participating in a survey, thinking there are pre-existing benchmark to be found. The process is too large and complex to be measurable. Confusing benchmarking with research, picking a topic that is too intangible and difficult to measure, not establishing the baseline, no researching benchmark partners truly, not having a code of ethics and an agreement with partners. The challenge are to build on the basic knowledge of the benchmarking process, realize the value of benchmarking as a tool for managing change for continuous improvement, Help set high expectation for your organization. Support the learning from others. Encourage benchmarking efforts and reward results. Critical success factors. Undertake the right study. Commit to implement best practice learned use an appropriate benchmarking process, mobilize, empower the right team, know your own process first, select the right partner or partners, follow a code of conduct, evaluate adaptability of best practice, Confirm result of implementation. 